The render tree is one incredible feature in exercise. It's a powerful tool that will allow you to create complex shading effects on your object. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what we can do in the render tree with this bottle uh, scene. So first I'm selecting the bottle, choose material font to apply a font shader, and I'm dragging the transparency slider to and the index refraction to create some uh, transparency effect. Now I'm going to go in my uh, render region option to make sure that my I have enough retracing depth to see the uh, refraction, re uh, reflection, and transparency effect that I will be working on in the next few seconds. So I'm going to use an incident shader to create an opacity on the edge of the object. So the incidence calculates the angle between the camera uh, viewpoint and the normal. So I'm going to convert the incidence value by dragging the output of the incidence into a scholar to color converter. Then I'm able to drag this uh, scholar to color converter directly into the transparency input of my font shader. We can see in the render region that the transparency aspect has changed by giving me more uh, opacity on the edge of the bottle. Now I'm going to uh, create a bit more flexibility over that incidence value by giving, uh, putting the output of it into an intensity shader. So I'm going to modify the intensity to get another result. I'm just going to add slight more intensity and I have more transparent in the middle of my object and opaque on the edge. Now what I want to do is apply a label to that bottle. I have a Fong material shader over the bottle. I want to use a Lambert shading to drive the label. So I'm going to go and choose Illumination Lambert to get the Lambert shader node in my render tree. And I'm going to choose the, dex the texture shader. So I'm going to be able to attach the label texture to it. So I'm going, the texture will be driving the ambient. So I'm going to just simply drag and connect the output of the image to the ambient and diffuse of the Lambert node. And double click on the image node and from the image property page I'm choosing the uh, image that I want to apply as the label. Now I don't want to drag and disconnect the font from the surface of my object so I need to mix the font and the Lambert together before uh, the surface material. So I'm going to drag the font output and drag it into the in the base color input of my mixer node and I'm going to drive the Lambert into the color one of my mixer node. Now the output of my mixer can now drive the surface input of my object. We can see now automatically the label being mixed on top of my uh, font shader. Now what I'm going to do is choose color to alpha node. This extracts my alpha channel out of my image and I'm going to use this alpha channel to drive the weight of that mixer node. So now the weighting between the Lambert and the Fong is defined by the label alpha channel. So to finalize the the rendering I'm going to enable reflection and add some frost and glossiness. So the result of that render tree is that I have a glass surface which use a Fong shader and the label which use only the Lambert shading. I'm going to make a last render region 
And you can see in the render region that I have this little slider. If you leave your cursor on top of that blue box, and this opens the anti-aliasing setting, so you can from there interactively choose an entire anti-aliasing value. Now I'm going to wait for the render region to update. And we have the result of the two shading blended together with glossiness and frost in the transparency.